First tonight, happening right now, night operations underway for the Hayden Pass fire. Crews say it's now burning close to 15,000 acres. The weather allowed teams to make seven helicopter drops around the fire tonight. And there's some good news for evacuees. Those who live on County Road 6, County Road 40, and in the Fox Creek subdivision may be able to return home for a few hours tomorrow morning. But that plan is still being evaluated tonight. Evacuations are still in place for those west of County Road 1A. That road is closed tonight. And give you a new look at the area to give you a better idea of where those fire boundaries are in relation to the towns of Cotopaxi and Hillside. You can see from this angle why so many are nervous about where this fire goes next. And here's where we stand by the numbers. So far, 14,788 acres have burned. There are close to 450 firefighters on the ground. One small cabin did burn yesterday. The fire remains at 0% contained. And it wasn't all doom and gloom along the Hayden Pass fire lines today. Favorable winds and cooler temperatures and higher humidity combined to reduce the threat to homes and property. Caradio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison reports on the northwest side of the fire. This is how the smoke plume at the Hayden Pass wildfire looked at around 6 o'clock Thursday evening. You can see it's still impressive in size, and many people are coming here to watch it, to see if they can see flames coming over the ridge that may threaten the town of Coaldale, where we are right now. We spoke with the family of one of the wildland firefighters on the scene. They say they've only seen him for a few minutes this month because he's responded to several fires in Colorado. I always worry. I'm, I constantly am in a little stress about him. But he loves it, and he's good at what he does. And if it's if it's meant to be, he'll come home. If it's not, he won't come home. That firefighter's family says they're not going to come back and watch the fire every day. Today is the last day. From here on out, they'll trust that their loved one is safe, and that the fire won't get any worse than it already is. In Coldale. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. And we're live here in Coldale. The fire is behind me. It's dark now, so you really can't see a lot. Just the faint glow at the top of the mountain and some flickering flames in several places. If you look closely enough, firefighters say today was the best day they've had yet. With the weather cooperating, they were able to get a lot of work done, make a lot of progress, and give Coldale more protection, even though the fire now is moving away from Coldale. So that's good news. Also, as you guys mentioned at the top of the show, from 8 to 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, some of the evacuees will be able to get back into their homes for a brief period of time, maybe to pick up some things that they didn't get, maybe to clean out some refrigerators with spoiled food, whatever the case may be. That plan was not finalized until late tonight, but we're told it is happening tomorrow. And we'll keep you updated on tomorrow's events on the networks of KRDO and on Good Morning Colorado in the morning. Reporting live in Coldale, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. Scott, thanks so much. And we are getting word tonight that some firefighters were hurt on their way to battle the Hayden Pass fire. They got caught up behind a jackknifed semi on I-25 near Fort Collins. They were released from the Cold Springs fire in Boulder County. Five brush jumpers are being treated for minor injuries tonight.